Hi, it's Tim from Azalea Outdoors. And Caden from Cold Crush Movie. Today we are going to be adding a new feature to our John Deere LX277. And side note, we actually did fix the sticker so it doesn't say 255 or 225, whatever it said before. So it's actually correct, and the camera is a little bit off. Anyways. Yeah, we moved the, we moved the hood from the LX255 to the 277 that we found. And uh, it was well, the same same hood we had in that video. Yeah. So uh, that's why we had to change the stickers. Yeah. But here's uh, here's what we're working with today. A product called Drains It. It is uh, basically a remote oil drain uh, for the Kawasaki engine on the on the John Deere LX277. Uh, make oil changes a lot cleaner and faster. It make you want to do it more often. And I think it's going to be a big help. So, yeah, anything else to say before we get started? Let's get to work. Alrighty. Alright, so our Kawasaki FH has two oil drain ports. Uh, this one on the right side, which is remote, in that it does have an uh, arm that will reach it beyond the frame. But uh, I don't really like working on this side of the engine. you got the starter right there. Uh, you got the deck exhaust on this side, so we're going to go ahead and put the drains it on the other side with the oil filter, have everything in one place, it's going to be nice and clean. Alright, we are going to replace this drain with the drains it. Now you can see, imagine pull that plug and there's already oil on the frame yeah. where that has been draining too uh, over the years. And once we get that drains it in there, we'll take that out, put the drains it in, and it'll make it oil change a lot easier. And we have this warning, so you have to lock lift level forward before changing attachments. So you know it's that. Right above that do. warning, yep. So alright, now we're gonna start actually installing the drain. We going? Yes, we've been going. Alright, so we're just gonna keep this in. We did drain most of the oil from the uh, the other side of the port there. So we did. So we, I mean, we'll probably get a little bit. We'll probably have a little bit come out uh, when I pull this plug. But so I'm gonna try and do it pretty quick. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, a lot of oil oh, came see out. See that oil? Right over here. And right on the frame. Yep. Boy, this is going to be so nice not having to worry about that mess anymore. I know, right? Alright, so now what? Now I get my wrench in there and tighten it down. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're just going to do this part off camera. Alright, we'll clean up that oil and uh, throw a new filter on there and refill it with oil and check it out. Alrighty. The drains it was, was invented over 10 years ago and they've been made ever since. So if you're finished, this is what it should look like, and we exchange this port. We got a new oil filter. Which is this port. We got the drain set on there. Right so now I can have my old drain pan all the way out here, and uh, when we go back to run running, we could just tuck that in right there, and, out of the way, and then it runs. And we're back to work. Yep. And we'll see you on the porch. Alright, so in the time it took to do an oil change, no more, no less, we got our drains it installed. So now all our future oil changes on that machine are going to be a lot easier. So basically if you want to do an oil change, you can also, you just want to add one of those if you don't have one already. Yeah, you don't want anything uh, 
standing in your way of doing an oil change. You want to be sure to keep up with that. Do it regular. Do it every year, uh, or whatever your manufacturer's recommendations are. Uh, so we're excited to have it on there. Thanks for watching. Anything else to say before we quit the video? We'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching.